Out here at Pensacola, it's Labor Day weekend. I'm here with my good fishing buddy, Brian Demo, of Finding Demo Surf Fishing. Oh yeah, come check it out. Check out his <laughs> podcast, best podcast oh, online. You're such a good friend. We're gonna get some fish today. The beach is slammed. As you can see, we walked, I don't know, half a mile from the parking lot. But what do you expect? It's Labor Day weekend. We're gonna set them up, we're gonna throw them out, we're gonna catch some fish. It's gonna be epic. Stay tuned. I found two. I have tempted to go over there and see if I can find some sand, please. Go for it, I'll watch your eyes. What we got? That's your whiting. I can't even talk. <laughs> I walk away and leave Brian alone to tend my rod so I can find sand, please. And he catches a nice little whiting for me. He's a good dude. <laughs> He's a squirmy fish. Ah, you got me. He good. got me too, you all right? Yeah, all good. This guy's mean, we're gonna bring him home and cook him up. Yeah, you deserve to be a yeah. taco. It's time, taco time. Brian has got himself a slack line. Oh, nice, it's a whitey. Good deal. Yep. That's a stud whiting too, man. <laughs> nice. On the Justin Reed rig. <laughs> yeah, instant karma for pulling that fish in for me. Over there helping Brian do a video. My first rod goes off. Oh yeah, slack too. Come on, Pompano. Oh yeah, he's there. Whatever it is, is there. He's flashing. It's running straight in. Jumping. Oh, it just looks like bait. Yep, two ladyfish. They ran straight in though. Couple of ladies. A menage a trois, as some people might say. Brian's gonna use these for bait. Maybe live too. Maybe. Oh, instant hit. Ready? Instant hit. That didn't even, I don't even think the weight sunk to the bottom. Oh, my drag's all super tight. It's probably more ladyfish. There's probably a huge school of, of baby ladyfish cruising that spot. Yeah, he's jumping. You know what? I think one of them might be a pompano though. It, one of them definitely bigger. Uh, it came off. He might have been chasing him. There were there was something on there, or something at least following this ladyfish that would look like a pompano. I've reeled this rod in four times now with fish on it, and I am still using the same fish bites. I have not changed them yet. Fish bites catch fish and they last a long time. Oh yeah. Hopefully another whitey. Something playing with it. Don't it don't look very big on the hit and it don't feel very big. Oh wait, you know that might be decent. Okay, come on. That's another whitey. Oh yeah. That's a nice one too. Did you hear me honk at me? I've never heard one make a noise like that. Check out that 14 inch whiting. Nice and fat. Gonna be some nice fillets coming out of him. And the rig I'm using to catch those whiting, it's a number six circle hook. I prefer owner Mutu light. And then it has a pyramid sinker attached to a snap swivel. That way it can slide freely on your main line. And I use a shock leader. It helps catch more fish, especially in this clear water. If you haven't seen my shock leader video, make sure you check that out. This rod over here won't leave me alone. I just put it back in that trough where I've been catching those ladyfish. And uh, they're, they are fired up in there. Hopefully this isn't another ladyfish. They're not even nice ladyfish, they're little guys. They got some bite to them though, a little bit. I don't know, not enough to get too excited, but. Oh yeah, I'm feeling like a pomp. That's not a ladyfish, whatever it is. I can just tell by the way it's pulling. All right, well, we got a blue fish. There is just all sorts of critters out there today. That's a blue fish. I knew it wasn't ladyfish just by the way it was fighting. I'm gonna go get some pliers before I lose my finger. These guys bite, if you didn't know that. I'm actually gonna measure this dude because I love bluefish. And if you haven't tried bluefish, 
you can do yourself a favor and try some bluefish. He's at about 11. Get this guy back. But so far today, the whiting, they're being caught real close, right where these waves are starting to break. And the bluefish, they're out here in this darker water, right where it starts turning dark. And you can see where I'm casting. And honestly, that was far. I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna reel it in like two or three turns. That's where the whiting been chilling. They're so thick out there. I'm gonna grab this jig, throw it out a few times. When I have earlier. Hey, you're in rod. Ah! You're right here. That, it, it's, it's turning on. Brian's number four. His closest rod went off, and my furthest rod went off. So I'm running way down the beach, like I always do. Throw that in the cart. And that line is slack. I had this over the bar way out there. Oh man, I can't even talk. I am out of breath. There is definitely a fish on there though. And it's not even something worth running for. It's just a baby lady. Some people get their workouts at the gym. I get my workout out here. Brian takes two steps away from his lure rod and catches a whiting, quality fish. I ran 200 yards to catch a baby lady fish. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that whitey. Let's check him out. Yeah, Brian over here catching the 14 inches. Nice. Oh, delicious. Right there is delicious. You can do some EKG, man. Right in the brain. Now he's dead. And that's the most humane way to kill a fish. Thank it you. might look mean, but it's not. It's really not. A lot better than letting it suffocate in your cooler, in your bucket. It's been a minute since we had a hit. As you can tell from the change in the sun, this line went lack instantly come on man hopefully it's a pop he definitely ran in a good bit this over the bar 12 is way out there in the navarre area oh yeah that's feeling poppy that's feeling poppy he's moving swimming to the right good head shakes okay he's just a blue fish blue runner i mean my bad just a hard tail I think this is the fourth species we've caught today though. There's just a lot of activity out here today. I didn't even get to sit back down. That was a good pull on it too. I mean, I just casted it back out, no joke. Walking over to Brian, turned my camera off and basically turned it right back on. I don't know if it's still there. Oh wait, there he is, there he is, all right. What we got here? Hopefully not another blue runner. He's taking me, for, taking me for a walk going the other way. Decent head shakes. What is that? What is that? Is that a remora? <laughs> yeah, that's number five on the species list. Nice size remora. This dude fought. He pulled that thing, man. I got excited. Good pulls on this one. That's a decent fish. Oh, I hope he didn't get off. Oh, come on. No, don't tell me he got off. That little dude, there's no way. That little pop pulled all that. That's crazy. He was pulling drag and everything. He's just a little guy. It, it, it's, it blows my mind how strong these popping are. And this is a single single hook it's just a my fish finder rig there's no way there was two on there awesome little fish though get this dude back you know i'm down the beach you see that rod bending you know i'm running i'm over there throwing lures with my buddy brian and we're on them let's catch up with that fish okay get got my lure rod out i hope i didn't lose it should have just threw that hey he's still there nice this feels like a decent fish, too. I'm going to let the drag a little looser on him. Okay. This might be a drum. Yeah, he does not want to come in. Just going to let him tire out. It's kind of dark out, so I can't really see what's going on yet. You know, I'm wondering if, oh, it's just a stingray. I, I saw his tail. That's the C 
seven species today. I want to get a man. He's not that big. At least get the hook out of him. I don't like leaving a hook inside of a fish, so try to get him in with those waves. Take your time. You don't. Once you start forcing it, it's when your line breaks, you'll lose the fish. He's showing us the bar bend. <laughs> So I don't really want to go down there and start pulling. I'm just going to pull on the line up, work them with the water, get that suction off of them. They get flat down in the sand. And that's what makes them hard to move. But if you get that suction off of them, you can pull them. I'll just flip them over real quick. Get your pliers, just grab that hook. And there they are, finally, catfish. I caught one! <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing! Yeah. It's a thing! It's real! <laughs> a mangrove snapper! Demo's oh, turn! Holy crap, I caught a mangrove! <laughs> that's a that's a cliff rig. It's a cliff beat. Green get him, man. Dude, Dude, that's so awesome. It's a keeper <laughs> too. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Oh man. I am in shock. God, look at it's, that. Oh that brown. Beautiful. They're getting, I think they've matched their, their, they get lighter in the surf like, like they, like a, like a redfish. Dude, that's a hundred percent a mangrove snapper. I got a mangrove. <laughs> I got a mangrove. <laughs> that's the ninth species Watch. caught today, dude. But yeah, I figured he's 11. Yeah, right at 11. I get to eat mangrove. <laughs> I get to finally try it. That's the second time in a row me and Demo been out here surf fishing, Pensacola Beach, and caught a keeper mangrove snapper in the surf. Me and Brian love night fishing. We do it a lot. And it doesn't get on film ever because the quality is crap. And I'm aware of that. It's a mangrove! Whoa! <laughs> no way! On a Pompano rig! I don't know, man. He's going to be close. We are catching mangrove snapper in the surf. He's going to be close. I don't think he's a keeper. Just Ten all day long. Is that ten? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, no, it ain't. I'm nine. <laughs> Just got back home. Brian and I had a blast surf fishing out there today. We caught nine different species of fish. It's just so awesome to go out there and surf fish and, and be able to catch so many different species of fish all from the same spot, using the same bait, using the same rigs. Between Brian and I, we have caught three keeper mangrove snapper from the surf. I caught one last week as well. Obviously, these mangrove snapper are cruising the shore at night at this time of year. I don't know if it's a migration. I don't know if it's a spawn. They gotta be, they're too small to spawn. I don't think they're... I mean, I don't know anything about it. I'm really asking, is this a thing in the Pensacola area? Have you heard of it? Do you know anything about it? Please comment below, share some links, share some info. It'd be so cool if we could go out there at night and, and target these every year around September. I've, I've never heard of this. I haven't seen people post about it in the Pensacola area. I haven't seen people post about it really anywhere around here about catching mangrove snapper from the surf. Correct me if I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments. I don't know, I've never heard of it. It, it still blows my mind. Brian was pumped up, he was excited. Like, I'm, I'm so happy for Brian, he got that mangrove snapper. He, he, he was lost for words. It was almost like watching me do it last week because he just, he, he just couldn't believe it. Also, be sure to check out Brian's podcast. It's called Finding Demo Surf Fishing Podcast. He has the best podcast for surf fishing around. You'll learn lots of stuff from it. He's got awesome guests. Every week he's dropping an episode every Friday at like 6 a.m. Listen on, listen to it on your way to work. Listen to it while you're working. Just listen to it. You're going to learn a ton of things. It's a great podcast. He's a great dude. Anyways, great day. Nine different species of fish from the surf. Me and Brian had a blast. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, take care and tight lines.